I would come out in the garden with my coffee and his coffee and then uh, he would sit on the table or on my lap and uh, he wanted to try it as well. Can you lead up there? So I actually started to make a coffee for him as well, a decaf coffee. And he didn't drink it. He would put his beak down in it. It was more the idea that I was drinking coffee, so he wanted to try it as well. We kind of had a ritual uh, when I got home from work. So the reaction from people in general were like, uh, half of them thought it was sweet and, and cute, and the other half thought it was kind of weird. <laughs> But it was just a great experience. Oh, Klaus. I'm a school teacher uh, in Denmark, and one day some of my students came up to me and said that they had found a, a baby bird. They were pretty sure that it had been abandoned. So I told them I would check it out. And I found this little black crow baby who had fell out uh, of his nest. So when I got close to him, something that I did not expect happened. He opened his beak like he was expecting me to feed him. And uh, my heart just immediately melted. I had an idea that the parents would come and start feeding him again, but they never did. So I picked him up with some leaves and put him in the bucket, and then um, I brought him home. The first couple of days he was very quiet, so uh, I looked in the leaves uh, on the ground and I found some worms and beetles for him. But after a few days he would start to call me whenever I came over to him. And um, then after maybe a week or two, he would start to jump around in the garden. He couldn't fly yet, but he would be jumping uh, like three or four feet behind me. If I sat down, he would come over to me and jump up on my legs and uh, just wanted to be close to me. I knew that he counted on me like a parent. But after almost a year, he started to fly out himself. So when he one day didn't come back, I just knew that he had started his own life somewhere. Having Klaus definitely expanded my horizon towards birds in general, but crows in particular. And I'm pretty sure that he is alive somewhere and uh, has a family now. And obviously it would just be great if he would come back one day with his family and, and visit me again. It's time to watch more.